Good evening and welcome to Newsmax Prime. I'm J.D. Hayworth. Of prime interest tonight, the first GOP presidential debate of 2016. But even as interest focuses on the battle for the top spot on the ticket, there's already speculation about the second position. South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley got the ball rolling in the Veep stakes. She delivered the Republican response to President Obama's State of the Union address, gaining encouragement from the GOP establishment, but getting a cold shoulder from grassroots conservatives. Now, Another southern, southern governor has made some moves that could very well put him in contention for the number two position. He narrowly won re-election for a second term as Florida's governor in 2014. So what's Rick Scott campaigning for now? A billion dollar tax cut for businesses in the Sunshine State. That's why he was on the road today in four South Florida cities, part of his million miles for a million jobs bus tour. We've turned this economy around. Uh, the way I think about it, if you won't help the weakest, the poorest, the most disadvantaged live their dreams, get them a job. And that's what we're doing in our state. There's 300,000 job openings in our state right now. We're on a roll. Uh, when I walked into this job five years ago, we had a $3.4, $3.6 billion projected budget deficit. We've cut taxes 50 times, and guess what's happened? Now we have a $3.4 billion surplus. We have more projected more revenues by $3.4 billion than recurring expenses. So it's clearly worked in Florida. Is Governor Scott working to earn the number two spot on the national ticket? Five of the Republican presidential candidates have Florida connections. Scott enjoys good relations with them all. But he wrote a recent column for USA Today pointing out how both he and Donald Trump first found success in business and how that's helped them both in politics. Would you consider the vice presidency? What I, what I work about at work every day is how can I be a better governor? Uh, I'm gonna, I've got three years to go. Uh, we've got to get more jobs. We're going to make sure this is the place to work. Uh, I, I'm hopeful that we'll have a great Republican uh, win this year. But while the governor is circumspect about the vice presidency, he's absolutely outspoken about his state's importance on the electoral map. Florida is an important state. The most important state. The biggest swing state in the country. The most important state. And the best state to live in, of course. And so if a Floridian is not in the top spot, it would make sense politically to see a Floridian in the second spot, yes? Oh, I think, I think, I think I, I'd be surprised if there wasn't a Floridian, but who knows? Um, who knows what's going to happen in this 